And a man is facing charges tonight after shots ring out in the middle of the night. It was quite a scare today for patients and staff at Prisma Health Lawrence County Hospital. Investigators say it all happened around 2 a.m. One patient fired a gun, striking a hospital police officer who then fired back. The South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, or SLED, says Kevin Patterson was charged with attempted murder, kidnapping, and pointing a gun. He's behind bars in Lawrence County. We don't have his mugshot just yet, but both are expected to be okay. Not only the suspect, but the officer too. Those in the nearby emergency room who heard those gunshots, as you can imagine, are still trying to wrap their minds around what they saw and heard. Fox Carolina's Kayla Convoy is live outside the hospital tonight. So Kayla, you were able to meet with the gentleman who heard everything while in the ER with his family. So what did he describe it as to you? He says it was pretty shocking to say the least. He was just trying to stay calm to protect his son and his wife. They ended up being pretty lucky, actually, because they were just seconds away from stepping into that hallway when they heard the first gunshot. And that's when they scrambled to get somewhere safe. Derek Duncan and his family were inside this emergency room in Lawrence County. It was just after 2 a.m., the middle of the night. They were finally getting ready to leave when they heard a loud pop coming from their right. The discharge nurse had just walked out of the room and I believe the security guard was about six feet away from us. Just six feet. That's all that separated them from the officer who was shot. Duncan says it was enough to stop the nurse dead in her tracks. She came in and, and stood with her back against the front door uh, and there's this big window across the front door and she was kind of in shock. Um, she didn't want to move. She was kind of frozen. My wife actually kind of had to grab her. After realizing what was happening, they started looking around for a place to hide, somewhere, anywhere they could go. So they ran into the bathroom, and there was only one thing going through Duncan's mind. Just protecting my wife and, and child, um, making sure that nobody was going to come in that room. Um, the more I think about it throughout the day, it's... The, the shocking thing is that it could have been a lot worse. He stood just inside the bathroom door while his wife, son, and the nurse stood in the shower further back. Terrifying moments, especially for his son. Real quiet. We are worried about him. Um, but my wife kind of had him behind her as well. While locked in that bathroom, his wife took to Facebook. But outside their ER door, the Greenville Health Authority police officer was returning the fire, hitting the armed patient in the arm. The Lawrence County Sheriff quickly arrived with deputies to secure the scene. He's now calling the officer a hero. You know that that guy was doing everything he could to protect everyone else. He wasn't thinking of himself. He was thinking of everybody around him. And the Duncan family is beyond grateful, saying if he wasn't so quick to react, everything would have been different. No one else there could have done anything if this uh, if the person who committed this had gone from room to room you know it had just been somebody happened to maybe be there to be lucky to, to take him down before it got worse the hospital was placed on lockdown earlier today no one in no one out but it is back to business as usual around here nobody else was injured in this gun exchange but prisma health did release a statement saying that they will not only be providing counseling to those who need it but they are also just extremely grateful for first responders and their very courageous staff members reporting live in lawrence county kayla convoy fox carolina the 10 o'clock news